What's up guys? Welcome back to episode 4 of the Bloodborne Let's Play. Last episode we finished off just ex exploring the new place, the new area, trying to get to the boss. We are basically officially at him, got the shortcut unlocked, managed to get back to the lantern. That's enough of that. Let's get right into the video. Guys, let's get to it. Basically, back exactly where I left you off. I have went back and leveled up after the last uh, clip, though, just to basically spend them points. Uh, to show you what I leveled up, I put two more into my vitality, and then I put, I think it was two or three, into my endurance just to get the stamina up a bit, because obviously, endurance also increases all your resistances quite a lot as well. Like, your resistances do go up with level like slowly but if you upgrade endurance they do up they go up quite a bit and uh, if any of you have played this game before you know it oh why oh, i'll get you later uh, if you have played this game before you know exactly why i'm just even getting that slightly bit of an upgrade to it so this was the shortcut we opened obviously our enemies will be back so torch out werewolves will be back as well get this boy hiding in the corner So, I never actually mentioned it, because I didn't want to, I wanted to see who would catch on. Um, we actually seen the boss in the last episode, on the way here. Um, not the specific one, but the same creature. Uh, just a slight uh, see of it though. It was actually hanging up. It was what they were all praying to in that little like, circle that I fell down into. Oh no, uh, I I jumped into that like. All right, calm down, crazy. Why me? I also upgraded my weapon as well, uh, one more level, uh, but I can't upgrade it anymore until I find the upgraded version of the shards. It now needs twin blood shards. I've already hit the max level. I think it's four, three. So it now needs twin. Twin blood charge now to level up, which makes it a bit annoying to be honest. Come on, I know you're there. This ominous smoke obviously means there's somebody are going to attack me here. Burn! Oh, no stamina. Ow! I also put, um, some blood gems on as well. Ooh. I put one on, uh, well I've got, I got two on because I upgraded my cane as all physical ones anyway, just increase the attack damage I'm doing. Uh, one of them though does slowly regenerate my health one per hit I think it is, or one per sec, one per second. So see you've got the, this, um, up here, the blue circle, circle square. My health slowly regenerates, so even if I take my time and don't get hit, I don't have to really waste blood vials now, since my health comes back on its own. Obviously, it's not quick enough to be useful, but it's still it's handy to have. Pick it up then. Right. Yeah, you got some bullets. Oh, that's all I have in vials. Oh, that might not be a good. I, I, seriously, guys, I can't challenge a boss like this. <gasps> Come back. What are you giving me? 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 Ah, damn it. Alright, so coming down here. And we have a summon. And it's Alfred. So Alfred will help us with this fight. But right now, guys, I'm going to leave this fight. I'm going to cut it here. I am going to go and get some bullets and healing items, because um, oh, really I cannot do this fight with free, I will die. So, we'll be right back. Right guys, we are back with full health and full bullets. We should be able to do this, I've got my antidotes ready, my molotovs, and I've got my fire paper, which basically imbues your weapon with fire for a small period of time. 
a very useful um, piece of items there. Um, we're going to summon Alfred just to help help us with this guy because he is a, a bit of pain. He's quite fast and he's very poisonous. Not that Alfred does much damage, he's more of a decoy. If we can get behind the beast, we can deal damage, obviously. And plus, he has the Kurt camera, like, the guy's a tank. I think there's two or three fights in the game he helps you with, but this is his first one. If you didn't talk to him, obviously, you can't spawn him. Which is the annoying thing. Right. A fire paper. So this is the blood starved beast. Oi, mister. Right, so this guy's not as is fire damaging as what we would wish him to be. Right, go after him. Right. Really? Oh my god, again? Oofed. Yeah. I really don't like fighting this guy. Get him to a certain point, he just does only only fucking poison damage to you and it is really nippy. Ah, I'll try to get this fucking thing there. Oh my Stay still so I can hit you with- oh my, no, we're out of Molotovs. And we're out of fire paper. Well, we'll put it back on. Yeah, we're gonna try and get behind the guy so we can do it. There we go. Well, I never got to actually I'm right. This is- his body now becomes poison. So, you get poison just by standing near him. No, he's not, he's not done it yet because the meter would have been going up. He does eventually do it and it becomes quite nippy. Don't die! We need you! Alright, see that one hit there. On you! Oh no, he's going after Alfred. You can't die yet, Alfie! This guy's got crazy combos, like, he's insane. Oh, oh okay, can't go around that way. Now he's got the poison. need to try and stay full health so we don't get poisoned. Stop moving! Oh, that looks pretty cool with the fire. Ah, I see, poisoned. No, he's gonna kill me! Ah, the poison got me there, like seriously. Ah, oh, that's what I didn't like him, eh? You just, you get poisoned at the wrong moments. Didn't even have enough time to press triangle there. Ah, I don't have Molotovs. I don't think you can, you can probably parry him. I don't know, I've never tried to parry, actually. Right, I'll be right back. Just getting us there again. <laughs> Right, we're back for attempt number two. This time I'm not going to bother with the fire because it didn't seem to be doing much. Uh, we'll just keep the antidotes handy, not in hand. I'm sure you just run that and he starts walking. Right, we're going to try and be a bit more back up to Alfred because we need to keep him alive. In fact, no, Alfred, just attack him now for me. You get my souls before I accidentally get killed again. Oh, look how much damage he does to you already, man. That's insane. Much I don't actually do that much. Ooh. Right, 
Like, so that was some serious amount of fucking damage we did there. Okay. Stay full health. We've got the things, we can do it. Ah. That's the thing I hate about him, he dodges like everything. Oh, he's fucking running about like a fanny. That's probably why Alfred, because whoever hits him, he goes for. So if Alfred can hit him, we can get in behind. Right, I need to get in front of him to do that. Again, come on, we can do this. Hey, Alfred's healing, that's what that we change stuff was. Oh, you know, heal much, Alfred. Oh, no. Poisoned shit. No, Come on. I shouldn't be poisoned anymore. I ah, nearly am, though. Oh. I poisoned again. See, even with this poison resistant armor, I'm still getting poisoned really easily. It's not nice. Putting the fire back on now. Let's just check this out. Oh yeah, bar. So it's 90, 93 I hit I'm doing with this. Oh no, I think he's gonna burst. Back off, Alfred. Bye. See, that's me getting poisoned just by being near him. Oh, you bugger, no! Don't need it again, please don't need it again. Alfred, help him, help him, Alfred, help him, help him. You watch my antidotes. Run out of them very easily. Perfect, me, I can't get near him now. He uses a lot of stamina to evade this guy as well, it's freaking crazy. Ah, pick off. Alpha's gonna die. Alright. Need to take this slowly and calmly. I think he's gonna blow up again. Uh. You become a very angry person. Oh, come on! Yes! So he wasn't too difficult, second time. But that was the Blood Starved Beast, and now we can do the chalice! Um. Hey, I don't think I'll finish it here. I think I'll go level up and then we'll go back to Cathedral War because we're done here now, there's nothing else for us to do here. So we'll light this lamp. I'm sure there's more antidotes sit behind the statue actually. Totally forgot about them. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, yeah, so let's return back to Hunter's Dream. I'll let you see me level up this time. So yeah, he was voted either fifth or fourth, like hardest boss of all the people who voted. Just for a fact, doesn't he leave you alone when he gets to the angry stage? He's constantly on you. That's why I think you need Alfred or need someone else, and you you take turns hacking him just to separate him, basically. Yeah, we got anything new? Oh, we can buy ritual blood now. We need that for the first chalice. It's not bad. Now oh, we can buy either of the ping my jigs. That's, that's, that's cool. That's it, right. So, what we're going to do, because I've got to do this last episode, was we have. Well, I've done. I ended up doing this when I was grinding the blood vials. I spoke to the little girl again. Uh, the hunter we killed in episode 2 the boss uh, has spoke to his daughter again no matter what you do she dies like she has two outcomes she'll die either way but if we use this I'm sure it destroys into a echo gem a blood red gem or it's for your weapon but anyway we're going to use these this will give us blood echoes so I, I don't like using them as soon as I get them I like to use them when I'm going for a level up, and I've I've always I've been forgetting to do it ever since we started the series, so that's why I have a wee bit there. So we'll get about three or four levels now. It's it's fine. Okay, what do we need a level? What would tell us until we speak to her? Right, what does the blood gem do then? 2.7 boost rally potential. I don't I don't know what rally potential is. It's not something I've ever had to do, but I'm gonna go put that on my weapon now because it's better than the other in fact. Can I fit the cane? That's the question. Only certain shapes can fit certain weapons. And I don't nah I won't fit the cane. Oh no it does. Oh okay, that's not bad. So what are you? HP up What are we on the now? 18. I can get up to 20, but we'll, okay, well, we'll put it up because the HP thing doesn't really help us. Right, so our cane now is 99 plus 20. So it's starting to get there now. It's starting to become a good weapon. And now we'll go and speak to the doll and we'll get our level. Well, what is it? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Right. I feel. How many levels can I get? Four levels, right? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna put them into skill this time. Just so we get that wee extra damage boost that we need. I know where we I can take us for this video, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to uh, Cathedral Ward. Might not get it actually, but we can finish Cathedral Ward, but not the boss. There's one boss I want to fight before we fight the next one, which is the optional boss. Yeah, uh, it's probably the easiest boss in the game. Very easy. So we'll finish off Cathedral Ward, get all the shortcuts opened up, stuff like that, explore it, and all that jazz. And then that will probably be us, so yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that, if I mind you, that wee girl doesn't even make it, so she'll never get here, that's fine. Right, and you go this way. Oh! This door's open now. We'll go and do this first. Uh, if I mind right, minigun guy in a wheelchair. Yep. Ah, 
Ah, see that damage is good now, like, that's good damage. It's free real estate. Communion. Right, so that was a, that's a body rune. That bush you, not your weapon. I'll finally get to put them on. But these guys are a bit tougher. This is sort of a, like a dead end location now. You can't really get far in this place. I need to get to the top of it though. There is a nice badge at the top that unlocks the probably the strongest sword in the game. Unfortunately we can't use it. It's not our build, it's just I want to try and get everything anyway. As you never know, we might eventually have enough strength to wield it if we get to the point where skills like there's no point investing in skill anymore. Cause I won't be taking anything over like level forty to fifty, so because your soft cap, hard cap, it's just, it's not gonna, ooh, it's not gonna get much stronger if you keep investing in it after a certain level. It will grow, but it'll just be a pointless grow, like, you won't feel the difference. Ah, I knew I was gonna get hit with that. Ooh, that was not good. I need to see if there's a way I can upgrade my blood vials. I can't. I don't think there is. I don't remember. Ooh, yeah, you. Yeah. Ow. Alright, all right. cool. Neighbor, pal. Have a nice fall. Ooh, yeah. That was Matrix. Did you see that? Neo skills. <laughs> we'll get him on the way back. There's actually another secret area as well, but we'll get that on the way back. Because I want I want to do the extended ending to this one as well for this playthrough. So, I will have to go and do this a little bit. Nah, I thought it might have been something there I could have picked up. Right, I'm nearly there. It's just where that wheelchair guy is sitting in the corner. I just want to check around here first. So yeah, this is like end, like end game basically, this area. Um, you have to come back here with later on you get a key and it opens up this door. And it takes you to basically the final area of the game. Well, second final, depending you it's anchor the two ending places of the game, it doesn't matter what order you do them in. Oh you're quite fast in that wee wheelchair, ain't you? Right. Just That's what we came for. Radiant Soli uh, Radiant Sword Hunter badge. See so yeah, I can't open this door yet. Locked. We do come back here. Right, now for the secret area. Where am I going? I shouldn't here get back done. Can I see the secret area from here? That's weird. You still doing there, pal? <laughs> right, so we gotta go down here, and we just go left when we leave this door. But we'll kill this wheelchair guy, though. May as well. Any point in letting him live? Right, so technically you don't need to buy that key that I bought for the 10,000, but I do like to have everything open, so I did buy it, but this, this is a shortcut area, if you follow the way down and follow it through, it will take you to where you need to go. Now this is the bit that's hard, we need to be full health for this, because you need to do a big ass drop. And I missed, I'm dead. Alright, damn it. Ah, right, that's fine then, because it's like right there anyway. It's very hard to get there, but I need to get through that door. Yeah, one of the items we, there's a, a definite item we do need. So. Oh yeah, we can take off 
disarm her now and put on her top hat gear. Well, I'll show you the charred stuff because if you've seen the last episode you've already seen the hunter stuff. So this is charred, it's just obviously burnt to hell. Smoky, stuff like that. It's alright, but quite a minging look to be honest. I prefer proper clean cut. There we go. It's nicer looking. Right, let's get back to things. Oh, well, let me see. What does it look like with that one? Ah, we will play with the non jacket one for a while. Right, kill you, because I'm sure you drop bullets every time as well. Yeah, you do, so you're handy. We'll just keep killing you if we keep dying. Just run past the rest of them, no, that's fine. Okay, I don't think they follow us anyway. The first time I did, like, done this, it, I, I did die quite a bit trying to get here. It was, like, ridiculously bad. Like, maybe if I roll. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Oh, for fecks. I never even picked up the souls. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm ro I roam ba -ba -ba -ba, too close to the fucking ledge. Bouncing off it. Right, we'll be right back. I'll just skip it to that bit until I actually get on that platform. Alright, guys. I literally made it the first time after the cut. But here we go. Now, this is a secret area. You're not actually meant to be able to fight, but you find it by accident, Ken. You wouldn't think to look straight down to see this ledge sit here. But you do need to come here if you want the secret ending. And look where it is. It's the real version of the hunter's dream. How will you look about before we go inside? I'm sure there's an item you do get round about here. I think it's a hunter's wishbone or something it's called. I when activated, you go invisible when you dodge. For like a short period. And we have the doll's outfit. Let's see what this looks like. I've never actually wore this as a woman before. Yes, the men can wear female clothes. It's quite funny. Oh, the, ain't, ain't that pretty? Ain't, oh, oh ain't, ain't that pretty? Well, what's with the... Okay, what? Oh, by the way, that's not bad. My character actually suits that. Right. Yeah, we just look like a really posh maid. So we'll go back to our... There we go. Right. Uh, go in the front door. And look who it is! An abandoned doll. There we go. Third umbilical cord. There is another, oh is that it? Oh, the old hunter bone. Right. So we get rid of the antidote to put this on. I've never actually used this, but apparently it's, oh, it's pretty good. If I can find it. Oh, there we go. Right, so we need 15 arcana to use it. Unlimited use though, as you can see at the side. It does use, oh damn it, why did I go off that? It does use four bullets every time you use it. The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters carries the torch who are sustained by the dream which is the old art from his remains. Yeah, so basically, I think it makes you invincible to damage when dodging. Because you, you like shimmer, like you literally do shimmer. You're so hard to see. That's the other item I was looking for, the old hairpin. Right, I'm trying to think. Right. This is going to be minging for you guys. I'm used to it. Is we need to eat the umbilical cord. 
There we go. So we've used one of uh, the umbilical cords. To get the secret end in, we need to use all four. Or at least three of the four. We will get them, though. Don't worry. I know of two. And we just found one. I'm sure one of them you get from just killing a, like one of the main bosses anyway. Right. Uh, we may as well finish off this endeavor. I do have to fight a badass demon down here, though, if I mind right. Just you lie back down. Or maybe no. Oh yeah, I forgot you have magic. It becomes a boss at one point in the dungeons, if I mind right as well. Oh, oh, oh. Are you done? It's really slow this guy, so I don't know how to parry him that well. Ow! Don't fuck with the fire! Yeah, fuck you bitch. Don't know how to parry, you just do a butt stab. Right, is there anything down here I can open? Nope. Nothing. Ah. No point talking to them because I know what they do. They don't give you anything important. Oh, that's what we could totally do. Wait, kill me, kill them guys. See him in the corner there, just like sticking the heat out. We need to be killed by him. He takes us to a, a really, like, later on game area. That we can't get to. There's a cool armor set there. And uh, a nice weapon as well. And I think it's a skill weapon, or it could be a strength in Arcana, but we need to die by him. He probably one shot me anyway, like... <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> Just a bit though, <laughs> two hits. Mind you, they spawn everywhere now because we've killed the Blood Star Beast. <sighs> I should wake up in a prison, if I mean right. What I'll do is I'll probably get to the lantern here. When I find that lantern, I'll end uh, the video here. Because I need to leave here to do something first, then come back to speak to somebody here. I can't speak to them yet, or it, it will just ruin it. Yeah, I'm on. Yay, right. <sighs> so this is like a hidden city, this place next to um Yeah. I totally said that wrong. Oh well. Oh no! <coughs> oh, it's not the note I was thinking about. Oh, I thought it was an actual like or no. Salami. Right. Maybe this way. There's a certain way I can't go because it will, I'll end up bumping into the person I don't want to bump into yet, and I'll ruin it. Ah, here we go. Can I go this way? Oh yeah! Uh, I can't die again, because if I die this time, I'll ask me dead dead. But there's the lantern. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Hunter's Dream and then I'll pick, take us back to Cathedral Ward and then I'll end the video there. And then we'll finish Cathedral Ward and then we'll come back and do this bit. Uh, this is the, the, the optional bosses here. It's about is in the last episode it was behind the big door. That's there. But we're nowhere near ready for fighting him. He'll, he'll just annihilate us. Um, oh yeah, right. We Cathedral Ward. No, the bosses I'm going to fight now is the Witch Village, which is completely optional. It's just good to get the XP done. Plus, there is the hang there that lets me put these runes, uh, runes on my body. I can't do it until I've beat the boss in the Witch Village. Right, but anyway guys, this was episode 4, I think, yeah it was, episode 4, uh, it basically was the Blood Starved Beast, uh, boss number 3. Next episode, I don't know if the next episode will be a boss episode, if not, we will be pretty close to the boss, so it'll be in episode 6. Um, but no, cheers for watching again guys, please like, comment and subscribe, and again, and hit that bell notification button so you know when the next episode's out in this series. Thank you for watching everybody, this was GNN, and I'll see you next time, in the next video. Goodbye.